pattern decided to invest in a, in, a, in a what we think is really one of the best meteorological teams. Like geologists are for oil and gas, meteorologists are for wind. We have in, internally our own mesoscale modeling capabilities. So most companies contract out to third parties to look at you know long-term averages, regional settings, where in, we do it in-house. I mean, we have uh, 256 inline computers running simultaneously. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, mapping, mapping, and mapping the world. Uh, the meteorological team is, is responsible for, for generating new prospects across the United States and, and really the world. Uh, we have a prospecting weather model. It's a very sophisticated weather model that's able to uh, forecast what we think the wind speeds are going to be at a particular location. Uh, we want to be able to verify the models, so we want to put up real instruments that are going to collect real data, and we want to be able to get as accurate of a picture of the wind across the site as we possibly can. The meteorological towers pre-construction are used to really assess with what the wind speeds are at this project, uh, what the seasonality of the wind is, uh, what the wind shear is, so how the wind changes with height, and how uh, turbulent the wind is. We typically collect meteorological data on site for a year. You, you want to see what what each season is going to bring. So our goal is really to project what the average wind speed and power production is going to be over the next 20, 20 years sometimes. But you can't just collect one year of data and take that for fact. So we make long-term adjustments based on local weather stations around the site that are in similar topography and exhibit um, similar characteristics to the site. Once we collect the short-term data set from the meteorological towers, we want to be able to adjust it to what we feel like the long-term wind speeds are. These projects comprise thousands of acres that we're going to place multiple turbines on. So we want to see what the wind speeds are doing across the site at each turbine location. So we're running these micro-scale wind flow models to see what we think the wind speeds are going to be and, and how the wind is going to flow across the terrain or through the terrain. And then we use our meteorological sense to adjust those models where we feel appropriate. The meteorological team helps drive our turbine choices for each project. It's almost like uh, going and shopping for cars. You wouldn't buy a compact car to go off-roading. You would want an SUV. And the same thing is for wind turbines. You wouldn't want to place a certain turbine in a site that is, has high turbulence or high wind shear, for instance, or really, really high wind speeds. We have specific software to create the, the 3D fly-ins, and we're able to pick the turbine we want and the hub height that we want. And we can export that file and we're able to make movies within Google Earth and fly around the project. The post-construction MET towers are erected in a free stream environment, so we're able to assess what the wind is once the project is operational. So every month and every year, we can go back and, and see if we're producing the amount of power we predicted. We're also responsible for looking at the operational data from the operating project, as well as the operational meteorological information from the Met Tower to really assess how our forecasts were pre-construction and how they're holding up from every month, every year, and every five years uh, that we're collecting data. The Pattern Meteorological team is, is very well qualified for what we do, and we're gonna exhaust every resource that we possibly can to really understand what the true wind speeds are at the site.